February is Black History Month, and tonight we start a special series of reports on San Angelo's history. Aaron Hunter talked with San Angelo's Ralph Powell and Ronnie Hawkins. San Angelo is home to more than 100,000 citizens, but African Americans only make up 5% of the population, and most of them live right here in Blackshare. A thriving neighborhood in the early 40s, the area was served by dozens of black-owned businesses and served by its own institutions, schools, churches, and the Paul Dunbar Memorial Library. And there's no better person to show us around all of that except for Mr. Ralph Powell. That's me. That's you. <laughs> Mr. Powell was born, grew up, and went to school right here. Tell me a little bit about what it was like to go to school out here. It was great because... Everybody knew everybody, and yeah. it was just like family. Prior to public school desegregation in 1958, San Angelo was legally and informally segregated in every facet of its life. Thus, only one colored school was in town. Having to pass all those schools to just get to your one school, tell me a little bit about how that makes you feel. It, it don't, I don't have no, I don't have no feelings about that right. because. I enjoyed what, what we had. Absolutely. The city of San Angelo and Mr. Powell have grown up together hand in hand, and he's seen the change in the community over time, for good and for bad. This interstate here right. killed our community. Mm -hmm. We had doctors, lawyers, dentists, restaurants, dance halls, grocery stores. All cut off by the Houston Heart Expressway. It was originally built for easier transport of goods in the community, but in the end, it hurt black-owned businesses. But one thing that did stay the same is Dunbar Memorial Library. This is the only library that we could come to. In 1925, the Dunbar Library was born with black librarians, historians, and teachers who were able to guide children like Ralph through their schooling. The building still stands today and is kept up by none other than Angelo State's first black president, Ronnie Hawkins. It's a big uh, influence on the uh, educational upbringing of African American students at that time. He shares with me why such a special artifact like Dunbar Library should be preserved and even updated to show the black history of today. We want to preserve African American um, black history uh, throughout its inception all the way up to today. So that's how come you would see something like President Obama uh, in here, a portrait of him or whoever it might be. Even though Blackshare has changed through time, the history and memories here are unchanging. Tell you the truth, I wouldn't live nowhere else. I love San Angelo and the people here are just outstanding. To hear more about Ralph's story or the history of Black Cher, you can visit ConchoValleyHomepage.com. For KLST News, I'm Erin Hunter.